So in this video, I'm just going to show you essentially dictionaries and we're going to work through them. So a dictionary in real life might be something such as maybe an animal dictionary, whereby you'd look up animal names and the dictionary would tell you where to find that animal name and the description of that animal uh, linked to the animal. So basically it's a pairing of the animal name along with the animal description okay and that is an animal dictionary yeah so that is a pairing of an animal name with an animal description okay a normal dictionary uh, may be a I don't know just a plant dictionary for example plant Dictionary then would be a pairing of a plant name with a plant description. Okay, so I think we're getting the idea of that, and that's how a dictionary works. Well, in Python, we can actually replicate these dictionaries quite easily, whereby we pair a key, which would be a name or whatever, it could be anything with a value. So here, really, the value you're looking for isn't the animal name or the plant name. You want to know the description. Well, you want to know what this thing is. So the value of this thing is the description, okay? The key to, fig to find the description is the name, okay? So we could say that the, we're pairing a key with a value in this way. Yeah, a key with a value. And that's exactly what you do in Python when you make a dictionary. So let's go ahead and make our first dictionary. So dictionary one is equal to, and here with these squiggly lines, we can actually make a dictionary. You're allowed to make empty dictionaries. There's no penalty for <laughs> making an empty dictionary. It won't damage anyone. So if I make this and print it, you'll see that it's, an empty dictionary that the print statement works and if we look at the type of the variable dictionary one we'll see that it's a dict which means dictionary i'll now show you how to make a dictionary that actually has values in it so dictionary equals let's say let's say it's an animal dictionary okay so dictionary two is going to be an animal dictionary and we'll have the first animal as a cat, okay? And we'll have the description as a four-legged, majestic, cute, furry animal. Yep. And we can have the second one as a dog. A dog could be a loyal and loving pet now with a dictionary i can actually move the uh, the the end bracket to another line and that won't break uh, my line i don't have to do it, use the line break or anything which you guys don't know what that is but nevertheless we'll carry on here to separate each item or each key value pair we use a this here what it's called and we use a semicolon to signify that the item left of the semicolon is the key and the item to the right is the value in this in this case the key is an animal name and the value is an animal description okay what's another good animal um an eagle We'll say that an eagle is some crazy, scary bird that, for some reason, Americans love. I'll put a question mark there, just uh, as if I'm a little bit confused whilst writing the description, because to be quite honest, I am. Now then. Let's print this dictionary to confirm that those uh, key pair values have 
been written in properly and there we are just to confirm it I won't confirm the type because we already confirmed that with dictionary one you can confirm that yourselves at home and essentially let's imagine I want to just get the value of a key so I'm gonna I'm gonna access this dictionary like I would a real dictionary and I want to know what the value of a cat is okay what the description of a cat is so I can just use this here okay and it gives me a description of the cat of why is the value of the key yeah there's the description there let's say I want to do it for dog okay I'll copy and paste this so you can do it a couple times but you, you lot at home should probably write out dog instead of copying and pasting this just to get you used to it okay and this gives me the description of a dog now let's say I want the description of a turtle what do you suppose is going to happen here if you guessed an error you'd be right and the reason why there's an error is because this e doesn't exist within this dictionary so it's erroneous because I'm asking for something that doesn't exist now there's a way to get around this or not around this but to do the same thing without getting an error and that's by using this function called get so we can get cat as uh, we did before or we can get the description of the cat rather we can get the dog or the description of dog slash the value of the dog key and now let's use it on dictionary 2.get turtle and we'll look here to see what output we get and we don't get any output we uh, we just get nothing however we don't get an error so this using this function is a good way to not get errors if you don't want to have an error um, the other thing is this doesn't actually produce no input it actually produce uh, no output it actually produces an output of type none but here in spider it just shows no output instead of that now let's say that we want to I don't know find out what what kind of keys what keys are inside this dictionary well we can use a function uh, to actually get all the keys and that is just keys function here and if we use that we should see cat dog and eagle but we shouldn't see the values associated with them because all we want to see is the keys i.e the animal names all right we'll try it for oh well we don't have another dictionary so we just try for that dictionary we can also get the values so dictionary 2 dot values and rather than returning the keys cat dog and eagle it will return the descriptions in the order they appear here in this dictionary in case we want to know what values we're looking at without knowing what keys we have yeah maybe you want to guess uh, what animal it describes a loyal and loving pet not a very good description for a dog there is it you might not describe you might not expect that it was a dog there could be many reasons why you want to get the values but it's important that I show this to you now then if you want to change or add a value you can use the dictionary variable you can use the key like this uh, so we'll change the description of dog because as I said it wasn't a very good description and we'll change it to a four legged creature with uh, sharp teeth that is carnivorous okay it's not the best description I could do a better description but you know it's a better description than just a loyal and loving pet now if we print dictionary 2 we'll see that the dog key the key is the same but the description is now different 
Okay. Description is different. Yeah, the description is completely different. Right. We can once again use the values to check. Just look at the values, and we can compare that to the values function that we used earlier. And there we go, a four-legged creature with sharp teeth. Before it said a loyal and loving pet. And there we are. Let's say we uh, want to add a new item, a new key and a new value to go with that key to the dictionary rather than just changing an existing one. Well, all we actually have to do is the same as before. And let's say we want to add a turtle. And then we assign it a value. So here, if this key didn't exist before, but we assign it a value, it comes into existence, strangely enough. So we'll say that a turtle is a four-legged, uh, I think it's a reptile, reptile with a strong shell on its back. Right. And this should... Give us both the key turtle and the description or value here of a four-legged rectile with a strong shell on its back. To confirm this, we can use dictionary2.keys. We can use dictionary2.values. So here, turtle is a key, and this value, a four-legged reptile with a strong shell on its back. Yep. And we can also print the dictionary, just to make sure that both are added, and both are at the right parts that we want them to be. Both are related to each other. There we are, turtle, a four-legged reptile with a strong shell on its back. You can actually add uh, some other data structures into a dictionary. So, for example, we could add a list into the dictionary. So, let's say that, I don't know, um, just add for no reason a key called nin. I don't know why we had a key called nin, but we just decided we, we just wanted to add a list to our dictionary for no reason at all. Yeah. Well, we can. We can add this list to the dictionary and once again if we check the keys the values and we print the dictionary we'll see that nin has been added so there's nin at the end is the values of nin and you can see that that is actually a list there that last item now within the dictionary is a indeed a list yeah. And now let's print the dictionary. And you'll see again that the item is paired up with this list. Yeah. You don't have to use for your keys, by the way, uh, keys that are just strings. You can use any uh, data type as a key. So, for example, I can use the data type true. It's a key if I want. I wouldn't, uh, but I could also use the number 99, for example, as a key. And I can add any data type I want. So I can add 562 as, as my value. And this is my key value pair. And we'll check all these again. And you'll see that that's worked also. So there's no limit on the types of information that could be held as a key or a value there. However, keys are unique. So I can't actually have two of the same key. I can, however, have two of the same value. So to prove that, we'll make dictionary two value key of value 562 to show that you can have two of the same value. And we can also 
Let's get rid of that. I don't need that. I've already done that. If we look at the keys, we'll see that we have 99 and 88. And if we look at the values, you'll see we've got the same two values twice. So you can have the same two values, the same values as many times as you want. But the keys all have to be unique. So <clears throat> the keys, in a sense, follow the same rule as items in a set. They all have to be unique. However, the values, uh, well, it's kind of more like a list in a sense. Not completely in, in, in it's not completely the same but basically you can't have keys that are duplicate values of other keys but you can have values that are the same as other values that's about it i'll probably do a practice on this uh, just a small one because the dictionary is a bit of a strange one and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed it and that's about it